Hello, my name is Duff, and today we'll be going over arithmologic. Arithmologic is a... it's a hard module, I'm not gonna lie. However, it can also be easy to guess. All available experts, please report but to room I won't answer snack guesses, so let's learn how to actually do it. First thing we want to do is write down edge work. So, uh, we have... Oh, get rid of this. 3 and 2. Uh, two serial ports, one parallel, and an empty plate. And our serial number is, if my mouse can function correctly, GAHIB7. Right, okay. So, what we want to do is first just let's get to know how this module works. What? Okay. So, each of these numbers, when added to another number, as determined by these symbols, will yield either a truth or a true or false value determined by the symbol on the submit button. Now, for this module to be solved, you want the you want this entire statement to be true while having all of these at the highest value that that, uh, that is either true or false. So, what we want to do first is write down the, the columns and numbers. So, we have 21, an alarm clock, I really need to turn that off, 29, 38, and 42. Next up is 19, 27, 31, and 40. Last one is 17. 24, 28, 34. Alright, now then, let's write down what this, uh, let's find out what the symbol is. Well, the emergency clear. The submit condition. All personnel, please return to your stations. So, if we have the symbol and the submit condition, the number modulo 5 is equal to 2 or 4. So, so submit is. Module 5 equals 2 slash 4. Okay. Now we want to get what these numbers are. Uh, what these symbols are. So we can know so we know what to add to these numbers. So the A with the phallic object is the lowest digit in zero number plus 5. So that would be 7. 7 plus 5 is 12. So for all of these, we want to add 12 to them. So this becomes, uh, so let's, actually, let me format this better. So 21 plus 12 is 33, 29 plus 12 is 41, 38 plus 12 is 50, and 42 plus 12 is 54. Yep, I know what to add. Now we want to modulo these by 5 and see what number we get. <laughs> so. So 33 minus, uh, 33 mod 5 gives us a 3, meaning this is a false, since it's not either 2 nor 4. This module by 5 is, uh, 1, which is not true. This module, blah, blah, blah. this module by 5 gives us, uh, 0, so that's false. And this mod 4 gives us a true value. Well, this mod 5 gives us true, since it'll give us a 4. And one thing that I should mention is that for each digit, well, yeah, for each symbol, well, uh, okay, for each column, there there is always going to be at least one true and one false value. So if you get like all false, then you probably did something wrong. Another thing to mention is that the symbols here, uh, there's there are different font than the ones on here. So, uh. Just be aware of that. So this is the symbol we have here. As you can see, like this is much shorter than the one here. So that is a bit odd, in my opinion. So we have the number of serial number continents times five, which is one, two, three. Three times five is fifteen. So nineteen plus fifteen, that would be uh, thirty-four. Yep. 
27 plus 15, that would be 42. 31 plus 15 would be 46. And 40 plus 15 is 55. Now, 34 mod modulo 5 gives us 4, so that is true. 27 modulo... Uh, 47, no. 42 mod 5 is 2, so that's, uh, so that's true. 46 mod 5 is 1, so that's false. And 55 mod 5 is false. Alright, now our last symbol is uh, a discount lambda. So that would be the number of port plates, which is 3. So we add 3 to each. This becomes 20, this becomes 27, this becomes 30. Oh, this is awkward. This becomes 31, and this becomes 37. 20 mod 4, well, 20 mod 5 is 0, so that's false. 27 mod 5 is 2, so that's true. 31 mod 5 is 1, so that's false. And 37 mod 5 is 2, which is true. Now then, let's see our actual thing here. So we want alpha, nor, parentheses, this, uh, and this. Well, or this. So we know for certain that this is going to have to be false. And we want the highest false value, which happens to be 38. So, we'll just keep that at 38. Now we want neither of these to be true. So, we want to get the highest false value. So, in this case, it would be 40. And in this case, it would be 28. This was exactly the way, and right that now, is a rhythm logic. that things were meant to happen. So, all available experts, please report to room A9. Let's say you have a minute left in a bomb, right? Uh, and you have a forget-me-not that you need to do. A good thing, well, a good strategy is, well, if you don't want to work, actually do the work here, is submit the highest value for each one. Since usually, that turns out to be the case. What? Really? Now this time. Do you actually want to stay alive? Oh, looks like we actually have to do the work. Okay. So, let's just get rid of all this. And let me write down edge work again. So we have one and one. Let FRK. On the CRID. CRID. And a parallel serial on one. A33, VZ8. Right, so we do the same as before. 12, 16, 24, 24, and 29. 11, 19, 26, and 30. 10, 16, 21, and 30. Alright, now we want our submit condition. So that would be, that would be this. So the digital root of the number is odd. So, so I'll just keep this here, digital root of x is not equal to 2n. Right, okay. So, uh, let's Emergency take this... Cleared. All okay. personnel, please return to your stations. Let's take this C value, or let's see what C is. The sum of the serial number digits is what we add to the first column. So, 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 8 is 14, so we're going to be adding 14 to all of these. So this becomes 26. This becomes 30. This becomes uh, something. 38. And this becomes uh, 43. Yeah. Right? Okay. Uh, 2 plus 6 is even, so that's false. 3 plus nothing is odd, so that's true. 3 plus 8 is 11. 1 plus 1 is uh, 2, which is false. And 4 plus 3 is 7. 
7 is odd, so that's true. And since this is... Uh, actually, I'll get to that later. Okay, the next thing we have is the balloon. The number of serial number vowels times 6. Okay, we have one we have one vowel which is uh, an A. So this becomes 17, this becomes 26, this becomes 32, this becomes 36. All right. The drill root of 17 is 8, which is false. This is also 8, so that's false. This becomes 5, so that's true. And this becomes 9, so that's also true. And let's take the discount zeta. Uh, number of batteries plus number of indicators. Okay, so one, okay, so four. So this one we're adding four. We've got 14, 20, 25, and 34. See, so 14, that's true. 20 is false. 25 is true. And 34 is true. Now, I'd say since we have, let's deal with the thing outside the parentheses first. Since we have a NAND, I'd say it'd be easier if this were to be false, so these two can be true. So, we can put our thing on 16 since that has the highest false value. And now, since we want both of these to be true, or false, or one of them to be false, Actually, they can be anything since this is false, but let's make them true. Uh, the highest value of this, if I wanted to be true, would be 30. The highest value of this would be 29. So this is true, this is true, this is false. True and false equals true. So this was exactly the way, right now, assault. that things were meant to happen. And that is arithmetic logic. I'm not sure if there's anything else I need to cover. Um, so, if you learned it, good job. If you have any comments, leave. Well, if you have any questions, leave the comments and get a job.